Hi guys, Justin Noga here from Peak Golf Fitness. Today, what I'm gonna show you is a great shoulder workout that you can do. Um, so when we do this workout, you can, if you have some really lightweight, one, two, three, maybe up to five pounds if you really wanna push it, um, but you really don't necessarily need weight. Uh, so I'll demonstrate it without it. But again, if you wanna grab a couple pounds, uh, you're more than welcome to. You'll just need a pair of weights. Um, so we're gonna do four different exercises for your shoulders. So if you get on up and join me, let's get started. All right, so the first one we're gonna do is T's, Y's, L's, W's. Okay, so this one is gonna target a lot of our shoulder girdle, okay? So our shoulder blade, um, that's roughly the area where we want you to feel these. So you're gonna start out in a hinged position. So that means we're gonna set up nice and athletically, but I'm gonna push my butt back, keep my back nice and flat. Okay, and I'm gonna stay in this posture throughout the duration of the exercises. So I'm gonna keep my head and neck in a neutral position. And the letter T is gonna be bringing my arms. So I'm gonna relax my arms, point my thumbs out, and I'm gonna bring my arms straight out like this, making the letter T, okay? So from this angle, it's gonna look just like that. All right, so we're gonna do 10 of those. So let's do 10 letter T's. Let's make sure we're hinged over. And let's begin. Okay, so make sure your chest is pointed down at the ground the entire time. And when you reach the top, make sure you just kind of squeeze your shoulder blades together a little bit, really try to feel it in that area. Good, we're halfway there. And again, really focus on keeping your posture the entire time. Don't raise your chest up in the air. Good, and 10. Perfect, all right, so those are T's. Next one is letter Y. So this one, we're gonna bring our arms more closer to our ears, so it's making the letter Y, okay? So let's go ahead and begin that one. So thumbs up, and we're gonna raise them up in the air, and there's one. Good, you can have a slight bend in your elbow if you wish. It's totally fine. Try to prevent yourself from shrugging your shoulders during this motion, okay? You wanna feel it right in the shoulder blade area. Good, we got three more to go. Two, and last one here. Good, all right, so that's letter wise. Next one, we're gonna do is called <clears throat> L's, okay? So, we're gonna raise our arms up, just like this, to a 90 degree angle, okay? Then, from here, I'm going to rotate my arm back, just like that. So we're gonna do it both at the same time. So you're gonna raise up, and then rotate, and this is kind of your axis, okay? So when you're rotating back, make sure you don't pull your elbow back as well, okay? So we're gonna do 10 of those, so same posture. Let's go up and rotate. There's one, good. Keep in your posture. Really try to pick up range of motion each and every rep in this exercise. Spend that extra little half second at the end, just trying to get a little bit more range of motion. Good, we're halfway there. So up and then rotate, and then all the way back down. Okay, we got three more to go. So up, rotate. Good, best ones yet, right here, two more. And final one, good. All right, so next one, W's. This one, you're just going to have a bend at your elbow, like this. And I'm going to bring my elbows straight out to the side, like this. Okay, so from this angle, elbows out to the side, squeezing your shoulder blades together, making the letter W. Okay, so that's the last one. Let's go ahead and get started there. So, bent at the elbow like this, and raise them up. One, good. Make sure to keep that angle the entire time. And again, the chest is pointed straight at the ground.
Good, we're halfway home. Head and neck in a nice neutral position. Try to also keep your head and neck relaxed. Okay, we got three more. One, two, and three. All right, good work. That's T's, Y's, L's, W's. Um, so next one we're gonna do is called palm presses. Um, this is really good for scapular stability. Okay, so again, we're targeting this area back here. And this one, I wanna make sure that when you do it, you're really, really relaxed in your head and in your neck, okay? Once you start fatiguing, those might try to flare up and activate. So just do your best to keep those nice and relaxed. You're essentially gonna follow my lead here and we wanna keep a nice upright posture when we do this. And again, the focus is our shoulder blade area, okay? So palm presses, what I want you to do to start <clears throat> is elbows out, palms facing each other, and I want you to press them against each other as hard as you can, okay? Really press hard, as hard as you possibly can. Again, relax that head and neck, good. Now we're gonna go a couple circles forward. One, two, three. Keep pressing while we're going forward <clears throat> and backwards. Two more. Good, all right. One hand on top of the other, really pushing hard down with the top one and pushing up with the other. Elbows nice and wide, good. And switch. Press hard, 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 hard. Again, relax that head and neck. Good. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and cross our hands just like this. And now we're gonna try to pull them apart as hard as you can. Good, now we're gonna go circles forward. One, two, three, four, and five backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, now we're gonna do little figure eight swimmer motions. So one, two, keep squeezing. Three, four, and five. Other direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, other way. So squeeze, pull them apart. Good, on those little figure eight motions, make sure your chest is pointed straight ahead. All right, so here we go. Circles forward. One, two, three, four, and five backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. Little swimmer figure eight motions. One, two, chest forward. Three, four, and five backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, relax. Good. Try to relax that head and neck. Okay, so next one we're gonna do is shoulder circles, okay? This is a high rep <clears throat> type of exercise. Um, you can use a couple pounds, but you probably won't need much of anything. So what we're gonna do is stand nice and tall, keep your posture throughout, and I'm just gonna count you through it. So we're gonna do three levels. So we got just above shoulder height, shoulder height, and just below shoulder height. Okay, now all we're gonna do is little circle motions, just like this. Okay, so we have 20 here, 20 at shoulder height, 20 just below, and then we're gonna go back up and do shoulder circles backwards, okay? So, a lot of reps here, let's get in position. So we'll count through it, keep your posture throughout, nice and controlled motions, here we go. Raise them up just above shoulder height, circles forward. Keep your head and neck relaxed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Shoulder height. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
and 20 just below shoulder height. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Just shake it off real quick, couple seconds. Shake it off, all right, round two, backwards shoulder circles. So up just above shoulder height. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Shoulder height, relax that head and neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, last 20, just below shoulder height. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job, all right, shake it off. One more to go. And this one, uh, we're just gonna get on the ground. We're gonna do push-up negatives, okay? And <clears throat> so for push-up negatives, what we do is we're gonna go in a push-up position, but we're gonna go down nice and slow, okay? And then when we reach the bottom, we'll get back up and do it again. Now, we'll do this for 10 seconds each, and I want you to make sure that when you do these reps, okay, a lot of people are gonna be okay going down about halfway, but once they get past that point, they start to lose it and your hips drop just like that, okay? If that looks familiar, I'd rather you do this from your knees to start. Um, what that's gonna allow you to do is take a little pressure off the shoulders and it's gonna allow you to go all the way down maintaining that good posture, okay? So we really wanna make sure we have the total range of motion going down throughout. Now, if you have to, you can even go, starting in a regular push-up position, go down halfway, and once it starts to go where you feel your hips are sagging, just go down to your knees and finish off the rep, okay? So we're gonna do five reps, 10 seconds each. All right, last one here. So in position, and down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Three more. Down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last one here, down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, good job guys. That's a great shoulder workout routine that you can do. Check us out for more videos.